folks. In this video, we're going to take a look at the label tool within Moodle and how and why you might use that. So as always, when you go into your course, you turn that edit mode on and you slide down and you figure out where do I want to add this tool and we're just going to randomly go to this area. We're going to add an activity or resource. Uh, we can look under all or we can look under resources and we can add label. So the label tool is really, in essence, it allows you to add something to the main page of the course, particularly directly into it, such as text, video, image, what have you, uh, an audio clip, what have you. So I'm just going to put in some random text here, so we'll see what that looks like. And I'm also going to add an image. So I'm going to go to my little image here, browse repository, come to browse a little further and of course I'm going to add a picture of a cat because why not. Alright so I've got that image I'm going to hit upload this this uh, this image I will give it a description a black cat sticking out its tongue no lies there there she is there's her tongue um, now here's something to think about is if it is going on the main page you really want to think about size so if it's an image that has information in it it's a chart or something like that you want to make sure it can be read but you don't want to necessarily go too far beyond what they recommend here as 500 by 500 I'm actually gonna go a little bit less than that I'm gonna go 300 by 300 you can still see the cat you can still see the essentials and I might just have it along the uh, the middle of the area okay all of that's all set I'm gonna hit save image there's our little cat there's a little text there's a little bit of white space here so I might just make sure uh, to remove that extra enter and again here I can have I can decide to show it or not show it I can restrict who gets to see it and in this case where it is on the main page, I tend to turn off activity completion. Um, the other thing to note is you could also do links in this area, like you could add a bunch of things, uh, but we'll talk about in a moment why that might not be an entirely great idea. So, all right, we hit save and return to course. And so now, as you can see in this area, this is, what's, this is what your students will see. And we'll jump into the student view just as a further up kind of get us give them a strong give you a stronger sense so they come down to topic five and boom there's the cat and you know whatever other content would be listed here so this is why it's a, it's a useful tool to really put something in front of the students but it's also something to think about in terms of how much space you are taking up because you can very easily as you start to add if you have an image in each space and you have these other things you know you can it can start to get pretty pretty long uh, and so as students are scrolling that can be a little tedious one thing you might think about doing is maybe you do have an image for each week but you only have the image on when you're during when that week is active so that might be a really good visual cue to let the students know wherever you see the image and ideally it's an image related to the course or or something you know that's that's also communicating some information um, that's the week that you're, they're currently on so that's the label tool it's you know pretty simple to use there's some ways you can really use it to help communicate directly to students on the main page, uh, but you do want to use it deliberately and thoughtfully. So hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions.